In this video, you are going to learn the four pillars to driving inbound leads on LinkedIn. Hi, my name is Andy Neary, founder and CEO of Complete Game Consulting, where we are on a mission to help 25,000 insurance producers sell their first $250,000. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some highlights from a workshop I held in January teaching you how to grow your business on LinkedIn using four key pillars to drive inbound leads so you can turn your connections into conversations. When it comes to using LinkedIn, most producers do not know where to start. Most producers want to use LinkedIn to grow their business. They just don't know what steps they have to take to make sure they're making the right connections, posting the right content, and then turning those connections into conversations. And by watching this video, you are going to learn how. But before we dive into the highlights, please take a second to subscribe to this channel so you can make sure you always get our latest video content when it pops up on YouTube. All right, let's dive into the workshop highlights. So let's talk about the four core principles that drive inbound leads now that I've set this up. Principle number one, thou shalt treat connections like a community. What in the heck does that mean? Well, I want to paint a little picture for you. When you look at your connections on LinkedIn, whether you have 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, or 20,000, you need to look at that like it's your community. And you are the mayor of that community. So this is your town. This is your city. And as mayor of that community, you have two jobs. Number one, bring more of the right residents into the community. So if you're a mayor of a town, wouldn't you like to grow your town with good residents? Of course. Well, what is, who are the right residents? These should be people you do business with. Prospects. If I'm growing my connections today, there are two types of connections I want to make. That is with prospects and potential centers of influence. You also want to make the current residents feel proud they live there. How do you do that? Content. Create content that makes them feel Good that they are connected to you. Pillar number two, thou shalt turn your profile into a personal website. If you want to be effective on LinkedIn, you have to treat your profile like it is a personal website. It essentially is. What do I mean? Okay, let me go through some steps, guys, to help you out. Number one, go look at your profile picture. Is it updated? Is it, is it an accurate depiction of who you are? Two, banner. Look at that banner behind my profile picture, guys. This is an electronic billboard. Think of a, a website for a company. A website, if I go to a company website today, right, there is what's called a headline statement. You got to catch my attention in three seconds on a website. Otherwise, I'm gone. You got to use this banner to catch my attention. Andy, why do you put contact information on your banner? Reduce the friction between your prospects and meeting. Reduce the friction between your prospects and a meeting. That's what you got to do. Next, look at that headline statement under your name. If you treat your profile like a personal website, this should be the headline of the website. Tell me what you do and who you do it for. Catch my attention. The next area, you'll notice on my profile, there's now a call to action button. Think about a website for a company, guys. There are buttons all over the place that say contact us, reach out, request a call. Well, you have a call to action button now on LinkedIn. Use it. Principle number three. Thou shalt use your content to build likability and credibility. If you use your content to create likability and credibility, you will win. How do you do that? By letting us get to know you and teaching the heck out of us. A personal brand is built at the intersection of what makes you unique and what you do better than anyone else. When I see what makes you different and I constantly see what you do better than anybody else, you start to become my go-to expert. And how you do that with content is using personal stories and education. And principle number four, save the selling for offline. Guys, LinkedIn is not a sales platform because our prospects are more sensitive to sales pitches today than they've ever been. The whole point of LinkedIn is to build awareness, is to build trust, and is to build credibility so that you can pull them off the platform where you can do the selling. If you wanna turn connections into conversations, content alone will not do it. Content builds the awareness, builds the name recognition. It does not generate the lead. The work is done in the DMs. And if you want engaged prospects, engage with them first. And the more you engage with them, 
the more they're going to want to engage with you. So when you send that LinkedIn invite out, they're apt to uh, accept it. So if you want to create engaged prospects, guys, engage first. The magic is in the messaging. The magic is in the DMs. You got to put the work in. And for anybody out there who's a little nervous that that's a not, not a good use of your prospecting time, I am here to tell you, sending a prospect a direct message, especially now that you can send it as a voice message, that is equally, if not more effective use of time than leaving a voice message on their phone. LinkedIn activity is a prospecting activity. We are all good at blocking out time for calls, blocking out time for emails, blocking out time for a networking event. We're terrible at blocking out time for LinkedIn. It's a, it's a prospecting activity these days, folks. Do not use LinkedIn to sell. Use it to give. Use it to engage. Use it to create conversations to pull them off the platform so you can do the selling.